Good morning, everybody. Happy <clears throat> February 21st of 2022. Um, this is Mara's Monday Messages. Winston joined us. Hello. Um, I hope everyone is doing well uh, and ready for some messages of hope <laughs> and love. Oops. Maybe I should put this in. That would be helpful. So, yeah. Um, good morning. Good morning. And um, so today I have a card and a couple of oils and a crystal um, all supporting us. And how? Hey, Kier. Oh, my God. So good to see you here. Yeah. So how can we all move forward during this time? It's been a very intense couple of weeks uh, or beginning to 2022 and um, yeah it's I'm in a bit of a daze I have to admit but um, and maybe some of you are in a daze as well and um, so the first card that I pulled or our only card for the day is what would feel even better so you know, it was an interesting card because I was like, well, I don't even know. I don't know if I'm feeling that great, <laughs> but like I'm feeling some annoyance kind of energy. And, um, and so how we move more optimally forward is maybe putting us into that place of what would feel better. And we don't have to answer these questions. The questions are more to just kind of put it out to the universe. What would feel better than this? And then it really opens up the field. It feels like, oh, it's very open. Like what would feel better? And it brings in other options. So what would feel better? Well, would feel better maybe taking a walk, maybe putting some oils on, maybe um, eating breakfast for dinner tonight, or just, shaking things up, eating dinner for breakfast today. I don't know, but what would feel better? So ask yourself that question or and just put it out to the universe and use some of your oils. It does open things up. And the first oil is vanilla, Madagascar vanilla, which is the oil of unfolding. And I'm gonna put it right on my heart center and on my third eye. The smell of it is so divine and um, and it just is wonderful for creativity. Again, maybe figuring out how we can feel better. Um, it promotes abundance and optimism and confidence. Um, it brings in more magic. Um, it's rejuvenating and awakening and, and playful. It brings in some playful energy and so Again, you know, um, I think I'm going to have myself my own little dance party later. That always seems to help me. Um, you know, so how to move through this week. Um, see and feel the ever-present synchronicities that are happening all around us all the time. That's another thing that um, can help bring in some more magic and bring us some of that vanilla um, you know, like energy. Second and final oil of the day is On Guard. On Guard, uh, which is, you know, the oil of protection, but it also really, I'm going to put it on the back of my neck. <clears throat> and I'm going to put maybe a little bit right on my wrist now that my fingers are a little bit more movable. <laughs> um, so On Guard strengthens our inner self. So sometimes we're not feeling great be, and part of the reason is because we're, our energy is being drained by other situations. Hey Caroline, so good to see you here. Um, so On Guard is protective of our energy, um, but it also helps to strengthen our inner selves and our inner resolve and it helps us to live in our own integrity. So. Again, sometimes we're not, we're feeling some annoyance because we're being pulled in directions that don't feel in integrity for ourselves. 
So um, On Guard also cuts away unhealthy connections and parasitic situations. So that's another good way to um, move into things that will feel better this week. Um, okay, final uh, support is uh, rose quartz. So I have this beautiful rose quartz um, pyramid. And um, the rose quartz is coming in this morning. Hey, Michelle. Um, the rose quartz is coming for us. Uh, the aspect of it is the kind heartedness aspect. So it brings in more self-worth, self-love, and it fosters tolerance, compassion, um, an open heart. So just keeping this at your desk or, um, you know, in your pocket if you have, uh, I have some smaller rose quartz in the other room I'm going to put in my pocket. Just to soften our hearts, um, again, mostly to ourselves, when you're feeling that jagged edginess, um, this will help soften it, the rose quartz. Um, feels good on my hand too. <laughs> so, so yeah, so there you have it. So what would feel even better? Use your vanilla, use your on guard, use whatever oils you have, honestly. Um, the ones that you're being drawn to are going to really support you. And then use some rose quartz and, and come into your heart more and um yeah i'm in it with you guys i'm in it right there with you right next to you i hope you have a beautiful day um if anyone is looking for extra support i do uh, i still do sessions individual sessions with people you can go on my website and sign up for that drmara.net d-r-m-a-r-a.net I also do the daily practice uh, tonight. I do it on the Mondays that I do my message. I also do the daily practice, which is like an expanded um, version of this plus um, a healing. So if you're interested in that, you can also go on my website and check that out. And um, I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful week or a couple of weeks and um, we'll be in touch soon. Sending you all the love. Bye.